whole town was inspired by, um, you know, my family living in the northern Illawarra for, you know, 160 years and having that kind of history is, is quite inspiring and, you know, living in the 70s and 80s when I was growing up, um, you know, I noticed that, that things had changed and obviously the northern Illawarra, you know, Bulleye, Coldale, Scarborough, you know, 100 years ago they were much different and um, communities are much different now and uh, I think that's really where the inspiration for the song comes from, that things have changed. So when we were, um, you know, looking at doing the clip, I spoke to Daniel and, and I said, look, I've got some really good ideas for where we should film the clip. And uh, a couple of key places where I wanted to actually shoot was uh, Clifton, because it is such a, you know, a historic little place. In fact, it's probably one of the only couple of places in the Northern Illawarra that still have some really good historic buildings there. Also, we had the, the Sea Cliff Bridge, and I also wanted to, to get that. Just the coastline. Um, you know, the song talks about, you know, views of the sea, you know, and uh, how our cottage got torn down, you know, for a view of the sea. And I think having the uh, Yellowwater coastline in, in the clip was really important part. Being obviously talking about coal town, we needed to have some sort of industrial coal mining thing happen. So I made the approach to Metropolitan Colliery and they really warmed to the idea. And uh, those guys there at Metropolitan Colliery and uh, Peabody Energy have just been amazing. It took a lot. We had a lot of safety briefings we had to do, site inspections, you know, we had to get uh, geared up in PPE and, and trudging around in, in all sorts of gear. Uh, and it was amazing. Um, I realised, and the director realised, how quickly, the, you know, very quickly, this, this thing was going to work amazingly for the clip. Working with Alan Caswell, he, he really cottoned on to, to the whole concept of what I was trying to achieve and what I was trying to say. And, you know, it was really good working with, with Alan Caswell, and he, he got it and you know, we came up with a really good song. So I found out that Jay Colley from Jonas Road had opened a studio in the Central Coast and Jay's done amazing things with the Jonas Road Band. Um, he's very experienced in all things Australian country rock and uh, he has so many different influences that are the same as, as myself. Um, it was really refreshing to work with Jay because he understood the music. He has an amazing studio with great gear and he's just a delight, he's been a delight to work with. So sometimes when you're producing a song, you're sort of 50% psychologist, 50% psychic, 50% <laughs> musician, and 50%, can we start again? So 25% psychologist, 25% psychic musician, and friend. And you know, often an artist will come to you with a song and they've written it on a particular instrument, either a piano or a guitar. So they, they have an idea of how they want it to sound, but they don't know exactly how they want it to sound. The good thing about working with James is that he's actually, he's created direction, his musical direction for the song actually made it really easy. Even though James and I are both, both very capable musicians, I think in a production capacity, it's always great to have a little bit of distance. Rodney absolutely blew me away with his talent and his ability to perceive what we were trying to get. And, and not only would he do that, but he'd jump on the bass and play like a pro. Like we didn't need multiple guys on the track because he could cover it all. And very 
bloody good. <laughs> All right, so we've got quite a bit of a quite a team in this production. Yeah, well, and we should probably mention Dan as well. Are you recording, Dan? Yeah. Uh, we always knew there was going to be a clip for this track, and so I, I kind of joined the the dots between Daniel Stone and James Stewart Kane. And Daniel's one of I work with Dan a lot. Um, Daniel's a very, very talented director of photography, editor, film, and and also a producer in his own right. And so he understands music. You know, it's rare that you have uh, someone who makes videos who who is also a music producer themselves. So um, I think you're going to have a fantastic... <laughs> I'm really keen to see how the clip turns out, personally. Oh, hello there. I didn't notice you. My name's Daniel Stone, and I'm the director for the Coltown Music Video. I've been a music producer for about 16 years now. And during that time, I've been fortunate enough to indulge in my other passion, like film, photography, design, animation, writing, as well as a few other things. One of the reasons I liked working with James was even though he knew exactly what he wanted, he wasn't afraid to mix it up and try something different. One of the key things that, that Daniel wanted to do was actually get some historic photographs of coal mining or, or you know, local history that we could incorporate into it. He wanted to add computer generated effects where we actually had photos hanging in the hall. That would set almost a backdrop to the performance. So after I've shot the footage, I like to put it through a few processes. First I'll grade, then I might have to take an object out of the background or apply digital makeup, or if there's CG involved, that's a whole set of other processes. The result is, optimistically, exactly what the artist was after and more. You know, he had me kicking things and uh, with guitars, and I'm like, what, what, what? Uh, and I had to trust. I had to trust about it. You know, I'm going, oh, I'm not really sure about this, but you know, look, I'll, I ran with it anyway. And when I saw the finished product, uh, blown away by it, uh, magic. Used to be a coal town back in the day. We were doing fine till the bottom line took it all away. Used to be a boom town, but it's always boom or bust. They've got people who pay for their real estate. Cold town used to be 
used to be a cold town Back in the day We would do and find to the bottom line To get all the way 